people talking about something called fractions, and I don't know what fractions are. What is a fraction? I believe that I can help you learn about fractions. One way to think about it is fractions are just a small part of something that is larger. For example, you can have a brick, and then you can have parts of a brick. That smaller part of the brick is just a fraction of the brick. It's a smaller part of the whole brick. It's the same way with graham crackers and even peppermints. Here, put this whole peppermint into your mouth and bite it. Do you feel the smaller parts? Yeah, I can feel all the little parts and they are all different sizes too. Exactly. And each one of those little parts is called a fraction. Each is just a fraction of the whole peppermint. I think that I get it now. Fractions are just part of something larger. If you have a peppermint and it is one whole peppermint, then when I put it in my mouth it, and I begin to chew, it breaks into several smaller pieces. That's right. A whole object can be broken into a few pieces or a lot of pieces. Let's look at these circles. What do you notice about them? I can see that the more parts there are, the smaller the parts get. Absolutely. And when there are fewer fractional parts, the parts will be larger. Okay, this one part is a fraction of the circle. And all of the parts together make up a one whole. I get it. Now, a fraction is a smaller part of a whole thing. If you have all parts, you can put them back together and make in a hole again. I think I'd rather have a whole peppermint than just a fraction of it.